Hello and welcome to Nashville Super Speedway. We are in the Gen 4 series, and I'm very excited to give this a try. Uh, Nashville Super Speedway is one of my favorite tracks. Very fun place to drive, and it usually results in some clean races. However, I did watch and notice that uh, both in Gavin and Nick's races in their uploads, it wasn't quite as clean as it normally seems to be. Uh, at this place and uh, I think that has everything to do with the fact that the Gen 4 has a lot of power and it's very difficult to drive but so uh, we'll see if we get ourselves a good run here I am the number one car unfortunately it seems like participation has really gone down since uh, this first came out which of course it did <laughs> it's really hard to maintain hundreds of people signing up Every every time, but green flag, green flag. Okay. not the worst. Uh, Two point one k strength of field. I mean, while I focus a second, really trying to get a good lap. I'm feeling pretty good. Lots of fun to drive around this place. Gotta be real careful not to get loose on exit. One more lap. I kind of messed up three and four there. You're in pole. That lap time was 30.2. Just uh, really working on keeping it down near the bottom when I can. Keep this thing steady as I get back on throttle. Let's see if I can improve down here this time. I got a little bit loose. Go ahead and do this though. Hope it was nothing. <laughs> uh, we got a 3.1. That's that'll be okay. Uh, pretty darn good right now, actually. About uh, three tenths up on P2, but still got plenty of people putting laps in, I'm sure. Let's see if I had that muted. All right, let's uh, do a practice green flag pit stop. There we go. There we got someone uh, just about where I am. Point two. And I'm not seeing like the two car up there. They're probably still gonna put in a fast lap. Don't see the fours number, etc. See if we can get on pit road efficiently. Hopefully, we have to use this information. Get some green flag pit stops. That was a little gentle, but that's okay. I'm going to need to be going a little bit more gentle anyway. Trying to do that when my tires are more worn. Speaking of, what are they after that? 98, 98. So They will be uh, wearing a bit, so I'll have to keep an eye on it. The 13 nearly uh, surpasses us. But he will be P2 for now. Anything but outside front row, please. I'm always outside front row. Like, if someone's gonna beat me, at least have two people beat me, maybe? That'd be great. I think, uh, as is often the case, it'll be important to not overdrive on exit. It's already gonna be real loose out of four, I think. Just how it works here in general. So I don't need to make it worse than myself by lighting up the rears too often. Do we have restart zones in this series? I don't actually know. I know they re-implemented it for a couple other things. Like the NASCAR stuff, like the current NASCAR stuff, I should say. Because this is NASCAR. But I don't know if they did it for this series. So I guess we're going to find out um, as long as we stay in the front row here. I think we might hold on to this pole position. All right. I didn't think that lap was all that great. I, like I said, I feel like I messed up three and four. Honestly, I feel like I messed it up both laps, but first lap I felt was worse than the second lap. But good enough, I guess. 
I did feel like I got uh, one and two pretty solid. Maybe that carried the lap for me. Best I got in practice was a 30.0. I was really trying to get the 29. I just kind of joined uh, after the ARCA race I just did. Got about 15 minutes of practice. Getting used to this car again. That's the but, uh... Well kind of reminds you of the Arca car, believe it or not. Just can't put my finger on it. Something reminds me of it. Just a little more power. <laughs> we will hold on to the pole position. That's pretty neato. See if we can get ourselves a good jump. Get ourselves some space. Maybe get ourselves in uh, a good position for a nice finish. How's that sound? Only two sets of tires. I love it. Got to be smart when to use those. I like it. I like it, like it, like it. We haven't got that data. We will. We will need to pit for fuel. Just be ready for a lot of cautions. Oh, that's not what I want to hear. Uh oh, okay. Man, that's not what I want to hear. <laughs> I don't need it. Every time I run here, it's all on TV. That stinks. My first race for Nashville was this week. It's really been that bad. Yeah. But this group's gonna be better. <laughs> yeah. That's right. This group's gonna be better, right? Like we got Mickey Mouse right here. Kind of. See, like the ears. I don't know. I'm bored. Let's get this thing going. <laughs> Sitting here on the yeah, grid. Yeah, the truck's got all pretty decent race today. Yeah, the truck's raced at North Wilkesboro in real life today. There are two additional more, it was a pretty good race. A good it's really race. cool to see North Wilkesboro back. I think Larson won it. That's Paul. The track temp is 100 and. 10. The air temp is 78 Fahrenheit. Let's uh, not spin the tires and spin out on the restart also. We don't do that. It's been a while since I've had the restart. Yeah, I'm going to watch, watch the replay of that. One to go. Next time by. Line up on the inside. Pit road is closed right now. Is that a good start, maybe? Yeah, that's a good start. Yeah, that's a good start. I want a good jump, but I don't want to... Spin myself out of here. Yeah, they're on heat right now. They're all rain cars, aren't they? Yeah, sir. Actually, not getting much uh, tire spin. Huh. Kind of hard to tell what I want to do here. I think I'll just do second gear. That should get the job done. About to go green. We start zone? Question mark? Okay, go on. Car ready. Ready. Guess not. Green, green, green. Oh, wow, that was quite the jump. We are already almost a second ahead. <laughs> Man, being P1's nice. I don't overdrive these tires. Maybe I should back it down a little bit since I do have room. Get on those brakes. Oh, we're already catching somebody. Someone start the pits.
I got a session last step up. That's more relevant to me right now. About a second back still, P2. Let's just try to maintain that. Let's not kill our tires. I guess we're just going to plan for cutting it right down the middle. Hit it lap 40. Hopefully we have a nice group here. Avoid cautions and uh, actually get there. Very fun to just ride the bottom like that around the corner. Feels good when it sticks down there. Catching up to us a little bit, maybe. That's all right. Feathering that throttle. So as not to get it too sideways. That five's catching us. I have to let him go. I don't really want to drive any harder. No, I don't I can't just be a caution though. Fuck that. This one is left. No yellow flag. We've got that 14 coming up. That traffic. the tenth that lap. Kind of confused on what I did differently. Is it just the tires giving out naturally? Maybe so. Guy behind's actually falling off hard now. I guess he pushed it real hard for a couple laps, and now it's biting, biting him. I don't know. Hard to tell what's going on with that. I thought he was on his way to pass me. He was like 0.7 behind, and now he's falling to 1.3 and growing. Really happy about putting that brake bias at 60 though. I moved it all the way down. Not on the in car, but just in the garage. I think that's going to be important, getting some turn in without turning the steering wheel. That's really going to help us out. I have not yet won a Gen 4 race, I don't believe. Much too early to even be talking about that, but hey, I'm just saying facts. Spitting some hot facts here. <laughs> so that'd be cool to get it done.
Gosh, this track is amazing, though. It's so fun to drive. This car, too. I'm just having a great time. I could be sitting here alone, talking to myself, no one else on track, and I'd be having a great time. It's fun to do laps. Kind of like Darlington. Darlington's fun to drive all on its own, too. It's maybe not as challenging as Darlington, but I'm just a big fan of uh, these mile and a half tracks where you gotta use a little bit of brake. That's kind of my favorite thing, I think. I like mile and a half in general, especially when you have to modulate the throttle. But especially when you just gotta use just a tiny bit of brake, get it rotated either the throttle on exit so as not to spin out. <laughs> that 14's not so uh, not so slow. He's uh, doing a great job. He must have just started in the pits or something. That's the only reason we're catching him because it's not like we're right on his rear end immediately. Two and a half seconds behind us now. It still feels great. Trying to remember to be generous with the brake puddle. On entry. And uh, making sure I first and foremost hit the line I need to hit. Overdrove it a little bit there. It's fast, but I feel like I got on the right front a little bit too much, maybe. So this might be my favorite track and my favorite car. I think the, uh, I think it's fair to say the Gen 4 is probably my favorite car at this point. I mean, it was the ARC car, and this it basically is the ARC car, but with just a hint more of the stuff I like, which is being gradual on throttle, having to use more brake, all that good stuff. So it's essentially the ARC car plus, <laughs> in my eyes. So it kind of just immediately goes to my favorite car in that respect. And this track, definitely one of my favorites. I love this place here in Nashville. Fan of modern Texas. You hear the booze now. <laughs> what other tracks do I like? Winring Motegi Oval. Really like that place. You'll notice all these have kind of like a similar theme where they've got, you know, one and two different from three and four, even if just slightly. Darlington, a big favorite. Same story there. Now we're catching up to that 14, him rendezvousing with the wall, making that happen a little bit faster. How about this green flag run, huh? Fully expecting uh, Nashville Super Speedway disappoint based on what I've seen and even the comments. Free race chat there, the guy saying like, yeah, these have been wreck fests. I see no wrecks right now. I've jinxed it now, but... Great. I think I'm behind. 
is now 4.5 seconds. But at the very least, a very, very nice, fun start to this one. And I can feel pretty good about how I'm, I'm doing so far. Four seconds ahead now. It seems like I've been able to uh, keep some pace and keep the tires on the on the car. It's a rarity for me. All right, Colton. Time's it's relative to the. Well, guys in our relative. We'll just plan to come in at 40, I guess. That lap was at 31.4. Don't need to play any games with it. Come in at the uh, mathematically optimal time, I guess. That will the 14 make this easy on me. We got lucky dogs and stuff in this, right? Like I'm sure I don't think he has any reason to fight fight for the spot. Yes. So he doesn't have to take the lucky dog, right? But he does have pace, though. Like I said, it's taken us a while to catch up to him. We'll go high for us, it looks like. Clear outside. Much appreciated. Finishing up lap 28 here in a few moments. Bring us 12 laps to our scheduled pit entry. Hopefully I don't mess that up. Let me not speed, huh? That would just be devastating. Let's keep this green, too. How awesome would that be? Haven't had that yet in the Gen 4, I think. Maybe I have one of the early races. I don't remember. I'll be greedy, though, and take another one, even if I have already had it. Five seconds back to P2. It still feels fine getting any more loose on exit than I was early. Maybe a little bit tighter on entry and uh, mid corner, but plenty, uh, plenty able to keep on top of that, and it's not uh, preventing me from hitting my marks. It's really all I can ask for. The captain Bell behind is now 5.6 seconds. Bell behind us, Christopher Bell? No. <laughs> We're getting close to pit stop time. I wonder if we'll get a caution when people are trying to pit in. Hope not. Especially if I am going to pit right at the center mark. Maybe I do will go at least one lap longer. I think a lot of people are going to pit on 40. So maybe I give everyone in that group a chance to wreck it getting on pit road and then I pit on lap 41. That might be a smart play. I'm not going to lose too much. I have plenty of uh, 
a gap here to play with. I shouldn't have to worry about any undercuts. I, don't know, I would think so anyway. I mean, obviously if someone like pit really early, but then I shouldn't have trouble getting around him again. Nick does a uh, Gen 4 League sometime in the future. That'd be a blast. Gotta imagine that'll come eventually, right? Window okay, Colton, that's good Pit window is open, so might start seeing uh, people coming in. Too long. Sun X there. Gap two bell behind is now six point two. Have any more lap traffic coming from this question? See some blue on a relative. It's still quite a bit, a bit away. We're matching race pace. Lap 41, that's the plan. Kind of a boring one so far, I'm sorry. That was a uh, not good exit. I'm kind of getting a little bit too aggressive on throttle. That's... Might be uh, feeling the right rear just a bit. So I've got to stop getting sideways. It's kind of using the brakes. Make sure that it, uh, the brakes point me right at the uh, yellow line down there. Seems to be doing a pretty darn good job taking that approach. Not even up. I hope this is entertaining, like, at, at least maybe informative, like maybe to see a line that might work, work out for you or something. Like, this is fortunately not too action-packed. It's about being consistent hitting these, uh, hit the line. Maybe I ought to get that uh, input tracer thing that Nick has, where you can see like the brakes and the uh, throttle. I kind of already have something like that on the bottom left. Just seeing the throttle and the uh, brakes. He's got that like telemetry thing. That's pretty cool. I, don't know, I think you have to pay for that, unfortunately. Like, race Labs Premium or whatever. People might start pitting now. We'll pit the next lap here. Time to not mess it up. We're at the halfway point. We estimate nine laps remaining on this tank. You've just done a 31.7. I'm going to do it silently. It uh, doesn't really matter anyway, though, because everyone's going to be told. The leader is pitting. Alright, fuel tires. Pretty gentle on entry, but didn't need to be too crazy. Right here. 
All right. 76. Oh, whoa. I did not expect that. What? 7665? All right. I guess I am on the right rear. Feels good, though. I'm going to keep doing it. Okay, go. Don't do that. Oh, I thought I was in the Arctic Guard. Second. <laughs> Not really, but sure looked like it. Can't hear you. I'm 11 pitting, I'm 11 pitting. So we are naturally going to get our lap back here already. Just a moment. Let's us go. Clear. Very nice of him. We're already back on the lead lap. Love it. This is awesome. We got to do green flag pit stops. My expectations weren't very high, so. So exciting to have uh, been able to do that. The lead is fitting now. You're in the top ten. You're fitting now. It's good to hear. I'd like to retake our spot as soon as possible. Pitching up on the A car, he has not pit yet. He's the guy that uh, started in the pits, potentially. It seemed that way. Car outside. Still there. P6. Clear. Uh, no! No cautions. The yellow flag oh, is out. Out. Line up, single file. Pit road is closed. Get up, level. Caution. Pits are closed. Sideways. Can't take our uh, last set of tires already. Awesome run, though, guys. up. <laughs> no matter what series I run, I always want to shoot my pit box. I don't know what happened with that black flag on the first the I think we've cycled out to the lead. Those guys are in the pits. But we uh, have to take a look at what our tires say. Shouldn't be so bad, but there are other rounds, right? Yes. This guy behind me aren't gonna get on, unfortunately. I do wanna know what how many laps on those tires the guys behind have. Because even if uh <sighs> even if I only have a couple laps on my tires, it's still not gonna be good. If those guys are on fresh ones. 
I imagine if they already pit, there's no way they could take a new set, right? Not only, not when we're only halfway through this thing. So we should be in the lead. Those guys will get the wave around. Pit road is closed right now. Of course, that'll be next lap. But yeah, the guy behind us is actually on older tires. That's good to see. Third place is on older tires. Good, good. Okay, that's scary. And the number two is on lap. A seven lap newer tires. That's not what I wanted to see. So can we at least uh, replicate that? I hope it doesn't devolve to the end because this has been just such a fantastic race so far. Don't turn it into a Jekyll Hyde situation. <laughs> In like a lamb, out like a lion. It is the month of May. Or is it March that they say that about? I think it's March. I'm full of I'm full of hot air. Be nice to get another great jump like last time. Green. Have almost Line a second. Green green next time. By the time we get the back stretch, that was pretty cool. All right, about thirty to go. If there's anyone, I don't think they could be on any fresher tires than lap 49, could they? Because that's when the caution came out, so. Newest fresh tires, P4. About to go green, stay focused. The pace car is in. That was absolutely terrible. One, I, uh, I thought you were dead right there. Yeah, I thought I was in the clear with the tire spin, and then all of a sudden I'm at, like, the top of the gear and it starts spinning. Yeah, your nose is pointing like straight. <laughs> We're good, though. All is well. So far, so good. Got to really keep an eye on that number two back there. He's a second behind. That's what's going on back there. He could have been just uh, trapped somewhere or waiting for me to wreck on that restart. Not sure everyone assumed I was going to do. Quickest right now. Says I'm quickest right now. That's good to hear.
Sorry, 21, didn't mean to scare you. Okay, Colton, we're matching race pace. More reckonings, please. Great to the end. Sounds fun. Even in a race I'm doing pretty darn well, I managed to find a way to embarrass myself, though. That's... that's great. I wonder where that saying comes from. Keep digging. What are we digging for? Be an interesting uh, saying, I guess it is, to look up the history of. Keep digging. I guess it's like referring to like digging your heels in, right? Yes, that's my best. That's my best assumption. The gap behind is now 0.8. He was still in fourth. Really thought he would uh, have a little bit extra on the precious tires. Much to talk about right now. I'm running out of things to say. Sorry again, this one's kind of boring so far. Who you knows? Maybe we'll get like a late restart or something, which I will absolutely hate. But it'll keep it. It'll make it interesting, I guess. Like maybe NASCAR will call it. They love doing that, right? Someone's running away with it. Oops. I think I see a hot dog wrapper on the back stretch. Guess we got to do a green white checkered. Get one in this series, Green White Checker. We hope in future seasons maybe they uh, the rules a little bit more like actual Gen 4 era. Maybe they'll do that once they actually get a Gen 4 car scanned. They did say they were going to do that eventually. Maybe once they actually do that, they'll start making it look even more like actual Gen 4, you know, with like the single file restarts all that. I don't think we're ever going to get racing back to the line when the old flag comes out. At least not for a long time if they ever do plan to do it. So that requires, uh, according to what they've said, requires a lot of coding. And uh, it would be a big task. Rain should be coming before too long though. Pretty exciting for the road racers. We'll see uh, what we ever get with Oval. If that ever uh, becomes a thing. Doing it in real life. Pretty sure they're doing heat races for the All-Star Race at North Wilkesboro. In wet tires right now because it's kind of sprinkly out there. Pretty crazy. So maybe with the rain update, we'll see the oval participating in that, even. We've got ourselves a one second advantage. Moment. Coming to 15 to go.
They're holding serve back there, though. I'm not pulling away quite as much as I did last time. It's not up to this point, so... Can't get complacent. Actually, it look like they're right on top of each other. Maybe they'll slow, slow one another down even. Wouldn't so much mind that. Not too much pressure right now, but I can do without. Thirteen to go. Okay, Colton. Lap times pretty consistent. Four back. Keep it green, guys. That's all I can ask. I'm pulling away at the moment. So if this goes green, I'm feeling pretty good, as long as I can avoid making any dumb mistakes. That was at Which is not a guarantee. Ten to go. I don't feel all right. This auto fuel thing makes me nervous sometimes. Sometimes I need to check on it, make sure it's actually working. Probably shouldn't trust it. You gotta take tires at this point, right? Pace cars out. Line up single file behind the pace car. Eleven. It's closed. Put fuel in it. Keep the balance nice. Also, just in case we uh, get green white checkered. Catch the pace car. Let the pace car by. Mm. Now open. It's are open. I hope everybody else comes in. Worst case scenario here is half the field stays out, they all wreck on the restart, I get caught in it. <laughs> like. Look out for the pit speed limit. You got loads of fuel. See, why did that turn off? Good stop. 
I don't think anyone on the lead lab stayed out, which is so nice to see. Thank you, everyone, for being reasonable. We do have a two-tire taker, though. Or two. Okay, go. You are out of time. They want you in single file. Catch the six car. So it is going to be a little interesting, but... I think we should be okay. Hopefully get a good jump behind the 12. It's are open. Well, <laughs> I said it was gonna, I was worried it was gonna be boring. We've uh, added a little bit of spice to the end of this one. I'm coming to an end, came off that road. Alright, so what are we going to have? We're going to have four to go when we get go going green? I believe so. And if they wreck, we'll have a green-white checkered. You know, they're not going to just give it up, though. They want to stay out there. They're on two tires, so we're not just going to... It's not going to be lightning fast, being able to get around them. They'll have a little bit of speed. In fact, they're going to be really loose, I think. Tires are 86, 82. I'm okay with that. I want to leave a decent bit of space in front of me in case he starts spinning up the tires. Five. Five to go. I'm scared. Well, I don't know. My bad. I did not know you were check it that much, so I apologize. The 12 and the 6, the 1 and the 2, pole in second place, are at two towers. So be gentle. What's even more fun is I took lefts only. <laughs> oh, shit. That's not good. <laughs> Lefts only? What on earth? You can blame Adam's dumbass fucking shit for uh, turning me while he was lapped. You're all good, fine. Why not? I was slowing up for the wreck. I didn't really didn't expect you to come in like that. <clears throat> oh boy. Oh, Godspeed, gentlemen. Going green. I don't know if I can catch back up to him.
Oh boy, here we go. White flag, one more left to go. One more to go. Keep it together, we'll be on the podium. Sucks. <laughs> well done, Colton. Great drive. That's a podium. Oh, right. Didn't take the flag. Uh, that was tough. You did really well. well. The ribs. <laughs> Thank you. Crash over the worst. Good win, Scott. Good win. Good race, good win. Thank you. I should have been racing this all week. Screw Texas. 21 match race with you throughout the race. Uh, I don't know what I could have done differently. I just, I didn't get as good of a restart, I guess. I don't know, man. I left space because I didn't want to spin the tires. Like, what was, I don't know what that restart was, either. But, I don't know, I guess I could have closed it up, but I just, I was afraid he was going to spin the tires up, and I didn't want to get in a wreck. On the outside, just got a much better start, and the four followed him. Huh. I heard three wide, so I was keeping on the bottom. I didn't know quite where he was going to be. And then I uh, just had to fight sideways for a couple corners. Slowed me down and then just couldn't catch up. That stinks. I shouldn't feel too bad about P2, but I dominated that race, and then just to lose it because of a late caution, late restart, that really sucks. I was faster too, I just didn't have enough time. Man. Oh well, P2. Still a good finish. We'll see uh, where the cautions came from. The few we had, it was a great race. Early on, we got Taco Bell. Oh, wow. Hard into the wall. Really overcorrected that one. Oh, there's a cat. Oh, cat in the wall. Hello. The eight's going to find the wall. They did pretty good, too. Oh, well, that 15... Another wall hit. So far, that's just about all we're getting, so we'll move along. Don't need to see too many of those. Team got loose there. Wall on entry. Approaching whenever that first caution was before too long here, because we're already kind of past uh, green plug pit stops. So that guy's coming out of the pits, and then for some reason he pulls out right in the racing line while he's way off pace. I guess maybe he's thinking like, 
I need to get to the outside so he can take the inside, but I think he's too close for that. And then the ten's like, oh god, he's gonna pull up right in front of me, so he starts pulling down, and then they go in the same direction. If I've acknowledged it, though, that it was on him, he really looks like he's the one that uh, loses out most from it. But unfortunate, that's what ended our, uh, at the time, caution-free race. So we're back into green at this point. It's been finding the wall a number of times. By getting loose and into the wall. Is this our final caution? Ooh, it is. That's a that's a tough hit too. Open over. This is the guy that started on pit road, I think. Yeah, the fourteen. So who do we call this on? It's kind of hard to tell. He's a little bit off the wall, but you kind of normally are at this point. Uh, I think the 14 probably drifted up more than anything, but it's hard to even... No one did anything too crazy there. That was just unfortunate close racing, I think. They got together. And uh, that's what cost us the win, I think. And then the 11 slowing down for the wreck, and the 21 is not. Was that not even a caution yet? Or... No, of course it was. He was upside down. Yeah, Kosh is definitely out, but 21 was, just wasn't ready to slow down, I guess. Pacing. And then that's after the race. So that kind of stinks. We led almost every lap. <laughs> and uh, didn't lead the most important one. That's okay. Still a clean race. Still a good finish, but still kind of hurts. <laughs> but, oh well... We, uh, we'll still look for that first Gen 4 win in the future. For now, I can be happy with a solid run. More than solid, really. But uh, we'll have to get them next time. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you. I'll see you next time. Hope you have a good one.